Hi, this is pet dentist Joe Banyard. Do you know what stage of periodontal disease your pet has? Have you lifted the lip and checked lately? In the video, What is Periodontal Disease in My Pet? I show you the stages of periodontal disease using images and some discussion. In this video, I have some examples of what it actually looks like. Before we get into the images, I do want to say that in a patient's mouth and even around a single tooth, you can have all five stages of periodontal disease, so do keep that in mind. This is a patient with stage zero periodontal disease. As you can see in the picture to the left, the gums are pink and scalloped around the teeth. The crowns of the teeth are clean. You do not see the bulge of the crown and the roots under the bulge are not visible either. Note that some tartar is starting to accumulate between the third and the second incisors. To keep your pet at stage zero, which is the most comfortable place to be, your pet needs regular professional teeth cleans under anesthetic by your veterinarian and the teeth need to be brushed daily at home. In stage one periodontal disease, you can see early gingivitis. Note the swelling and redness of the gums along the crowns. There is also tartar present and on x-ray there is no bone loss. This is the best time to get a professional teeth clean under anesthetic as this is the last stage when changes can be reversed. All the tartar and plaque missed during the daily toothbrushing can be removed. Here is a case of stage 2 periodontal disease. As you can see in the x-ray, the bony margins under the crowns of the teeth are fuzzy and 0-25% to of the bone supporting the roots is gone. You can also see that the gums are swollen. They are black because this is the normal pigmentation for this patient. It's important to remember when you're looking at your dog's teeth that not all dogs look like these pictures. Some of them look way worse and some of them look like there's nothing going on at all. To avoid further loss of bone support, this patient needs a professional teeth clean as soon as possible. Periodontal disease is progressive and follows a waxing waning course when sometimes it is actually destructive and other times it is quiet. Once this bone is gone, it does not come back. It's gone for good. In stage 3 periodontal disease, there is 25 to 50% bone loss. In this patient, there is an example of vertical bone loss. You can see this at the yellow letter A. This is painful and it's progressive. However, you cannot see it in the picture to the left. You can only see it on the x-ray. Do you see that? Treatment for stage 3 periodontal disease is extraction or advanced procedures. If the tooth is extracted, the problem will not return, but the tooth is lost and does not grow back. If the tooth is treated with advanced procedures by a veterinary dentist or specialist, and the pet's owner is committed to regular home care, teeth affected by stage 3 periodontal disease can sometimes be saved. In this case that we're talking about in the example above, the bone loss can be repaired using guided tissue regeneration or bone augmentation. And as said, this needs to be done by somebody trained in this procedure. This is a case of stage 4 periodontal disease. This dog has had this for a very long time and 50% or more bone has been lost as a result of a long battle with infection deep in the tissues surrounding the teeth. As you look at the picture of the mouth on the left hand side, can you see the bone or the roots of the teeth? Now look at the x-rays to the right. The bone should be where the red line is, but it is actually at the yellow line in this patient. So without x-rays no one could ever tell where that bone level is. And remember, each tooth is a little bit different. 
Treatment for the vast majority of teeth with stage 4 periodontal disease is extraction. Although in rare situations, advanced procedures can help save some of these teeth. These are best done by a veterinarian with advanced training. Also, to be successful in the long term, the owner must be committed to excellent home care, and many people are up to this. This is what happened to the patient in the previous slide. All but three teeth were extracted. But even though the little dog lost so many teeth, he can still eat his kibble and is now free from pain. He must feel so much happier now. Veterinarians who help pets in this way often hear from their owners how much more energy their pet has, how it's eating better and eating things that it hasn't eaten for years, and it's gaining weight. And this is always wonderful for veterinarians to hear. Here is a summary of some of the signs that will help you recognize that there might be periodontal disease in your pet. Bad breath, flinching or pulling away from you when you try to look at the teeth. The lips of your pet may quiver. Dogs may growl and snap and cats may hiss because they are in pain. The gums may be red and swollen and there may be tartar buildup. You might see the bulge of the crown or the roots of the teeth and these are usually hidden from view by the bone in the gums. If there are open wounds or swellings on the face, under the eye, on the lower jaw or in the mouth, or if there are ulcers in the mouth or on the lips, you need to be concerned. If your pet is rubbing its face on the carpets and furniture such as the sofa, if it's sleeping a lot, has decreased activity, drooling, poor appetite, is dropping its food and hard treats, then you need to take your pet in to see your veterinarian. Remember that you should not be able to see bone or the roots of the teeth. Periodontal disease is a radiographic diagnosis. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Without x-rays, everyone is guessing about what is really happening in your pet's mouth. To treat periodontal disease, you need a diagnosis first. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share your knowledge with your friends and relatives and thank you so much for watching.